Jaya, Jaya. <laughs> Say Jaya. No. I'm okay. so dominant on these videos. Jaya. <laughs> there you <laughs> she go. She said it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this woman has a surprise topic for us today. Okay, so basically, <laughs> this topic of the video is around women and the desire to be nurtured by a man, but also fucked really hard by a man. Okay, so this is something that is relating to kind of two facets of a woman where there is this vulnerable kind of little girl inside of us and then there's the deep sexual femininity of a woman and how those two parts do crave to be met and seen by the masculine. So, yeah, do you have anything <laughs> that you feel that you want to say to what I've just said? Like, as a man, what does that mean to you when I say those things? What's your interpretation? My interpretation is that I can see the, you know, the inner child in you, or I can see it in, uh, in, in moments of vulnerability. And, uh, yeah, the erotic energy is just another frequency or another vibration. Sometimes it's the erotic energy. Sometimes it's something that is more vulnerable and more emotional and more sensitive. And the qualities that I have to express in a woman's field will depend a lot on where she's at, you know. And so, um, yeah, it's something that uh, that I witness. And there is so many, there are so many different archetypes mm -hmm. or impressions or embodiments in different frequencies. You know, you can be, for instance, in the work mode and be really like yeah. going for it and effective in your conquering drive or uh, be in a place where all you want is to have fun and joy and play or you are in a, in a space where you are, you know, romantic and daydreaming or, you know, so the, the vulnerability aspect and um, the more erotic woman inside of you is definitely something that I can, uh, yeah, I can recognize, I can see, not just in you, but in uh, any woman who comes into my mm. field. Yeah. And when, when are you receptive to a woman's vulnerability? Like, I feel like sometimes we might have a certain image and idea of, of our partner mm -hmm. for women as well towards their man. And maybe we're not being in tune to when that need to be nurtured is there mm -hmm. and mistake it with needing to have um, penetration. So sometimes a woman is calling out just for a hug and to be held and not penetrated. Mm -hmm. But the idea of intimacy sometimes can just be solely related to sex if we don't have more of an education around the full spectrum yeah. of intimacy you yeah know? Totally. so that's what i mean by this polarity between being nurtured and being fucked is sometimes like i just had an experience before where a few days before i was craving to be penetrated by a man and now i'm only craving to be held because like this little girl is inside of me instead so yeah in the sensitive yeah, zone yeah yeah in totally. the sensitive zone so yeah. when when do you pick up on that? When you know that a woman is really asking for a hug? Because sometimes we can't even express it. Yeah. <laughs> I need a hug. Sometimes we didn't even know that that's what we need. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering as a man who has some awareness around these things, what are the cues that you pick up when a woman wants to be nurtured and then when a woman wants to be fucked? Yeah. It's really an interesting question because uh, I don't think that there are, I mean, of course, there are external signals, you know, but the, the first thing is really an energetic yeah, resonance that you feeling. pick up on. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, if I, if I see a woman entering into a vulnerable zone and being sensitive, and then you, you try, you know, you are yourself in a sexual place and you, you try to almost like force your agenda on, on, mm. on a woman, it's not going to work, of course. It's going to create a massive uh, dissonance. Or and, even um, think that making love to her will make her feel better as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, uh, I mean, uh, as guys, I think that we have to be extremely receptive and extremely sensitive to a woman's emotions and energies and be able to... To, uh, to sway. You know, yeah, to sway and play and be in the mood. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now there is, oh. uh, wow, now there is sex coming in. But you were just crying like five minutes ago, you know. And so it's like, um, yeah, it's a, it's an ability to be, really be in tune and be receptive. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for men, this means to have a lot of energetic and emotional flexibility, you know, elasticity. Instead of coming and being like, okay, it's Saturday night. We're in the romantic zone. Let's let's engage and have a, a beautiful night of sex. No, it's like take time to actually tune in and, and realize now? what's alive yeah. in there. And uh, I've been exposed to situations in the last uh, year that were like radical shifts. You know, I'm ready to party and have a good time, and that woman has an emotional meltdown in my arms. And so being able to shift that and being able to 
to stay present and hold space for that emotion is, is really important. And the same the other way around, you know, you might be as a man in a processing mode, you are trapped into work and, uh, and other processes and this woman just needs, needs erotic fire. And so being able to shift, you know, it's a, a matter of playing with those energies together. Mm. But uh, as, a, as a man, I think that we need to, to expand our, our flexibility mm. around all that. <clears throat> this, is a, this has been my, my, uh, yeah, my experience over the last year. And as a woman, I feel like getting in touch with those two, we can call them archetypes or energies within ourselves of being able to listen to when, when say the vulnerable little girl is inside of us and calling for a hug or calling to be seen or calling to be nurtured and having the courage and capacity to also share your vulnerability to mm. your partner and say like, hey, this is how I'm feeling right now. This is what's going on for me. Especially if there is a moment where maybe there is sexual energy between you and your partner and you're going into a mode of making love, but inside you're feeling more to be held to, to have the courage to say, actually, this is not what I need or want right now. And then also being able to own, which has been my issue around my femininity, is being able to own when you do want to have sex and, and own the fact that you do want to be fucked. And for me as a woman, I've had a lot of shame about this because I didn't want to be perceived as only a sexual being or that I'm slutty or something like this. But the relationship between the little girl and the deep sexual woman has created more balance within me to share my truth, whether it's nurtured or being fucked at the same time. Yeah, that's beautiful. And um, yeah, just be real about what's going on, but honoring both of those parts within yourself. Because if a woman wants to be nurtured or have uh, sex, it's our responsibility to know that. Like at the end of the day, the man can be receptive, but we need to communicate to ourselves and our partner what it is that our needs are. And then maybe he can fulfill it or maybe he cannot. It doesn't mean that then he has to switch out of his truth because maybe his truth at that moment isn't to fuck you, <laughs> but he can still hold you and, and show you that you are loved and being seen. So, yeah, it's an interesting play between all of these things, yeah, of sharing yeah. your truth and honesty. Yeah, it all comes down to being really present, you know, and yeah. being expanding your awareness and realizing that there is lots of dynamics and energies mm. going on there. And yeah. so anchor, be present, listen, be sensitive. Mm. And be open to the flexibility and the unpredictability of, of the feminine. The wings. I love you. <laughs> Bye.